Huh? It wouldn't be an adventure if everything went right. Is that bottomed out, Jimmy? No. It goes all the way down into the thing. There we go. Oh, meet up time at 7.30 a.m. Get a call from the Dirty Italian, 7.25 a.m. Goes around that corner right there and about eats it. Only to find out the trusty KLR rear tire ate it. So, time to change a flat. You might want to help him on the back. Bike control. I forgot my lubricants packed. My silicone. I brought some lubricant. Oh. Be recording you find your place to sleep tonight. Almost you're one inch short. We'd like to thank our sponsors for this video. Oh wait, we don't have any. Sponsor is KTM. You'll make it. That will do, donkey. You'll make it, homie. Because Mr. D and I can't afford the nice stuff. Yukon Outfitters. These are what, like 20 boners? 20 boners. 20 boners, maybe 30. Come with a rain fly from the factory. Plus, you have your under quilt, don't you? straps we love the atlas straps because we're too lazy to string up a whoopee sling yeah.
What up? You got a Yukon Outfitters one too, don't you? Yep. What? 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 I like to drag mine in the ground. Make sure. Sure. Why not? Betterer. Sling it around the tree. Just like home, homie. Maybe not for you. Maybe that's about right for you. Yay! Slack. How's it going? We're the master packers. Master packers. The master packers. Look at all this. Tell us about your drone. So we get all the way up here. I got pee on my hand. Sorry. <laughs> I I just noticed that. I just gotta wipe it off, you know. So we get all the way up here. I packed this drone. I didn't really think I wanted to bring it, but I thought, well, what if I get some cool shots? So I, I bring it up here. And now the government has done this thing where they don't let you fly drones in like protected government areas and I think this is government forest land or something. So it won't boot up, it won't go, so here I'm hauling this sh stuff around for no reason. I That's got okay. no dronage. That's okay. That's okay. Craig, how was it? Good. Everything come out okay? Yep. You get some on your hands there? quicker at it. You must have a special spot you like. I'd use two different spots now. Oh, you did? Yeah. Marking your territory. It's like acupuncture, so you can speed shit or something. I don't know. I just it's like flowing out of me. It's the orange KLR. Doctor Dual Sport. Mm -hmm. Doctor Dual Sport. Doctor Dual Sport wants a KTM, so he <laughs> painted KTM this KTM. KLR orange. It's a mean, mean, mean looking machine. We got the cowbells going on. <laughs> What in the world is that? That's my grouse killer. <laughs> grouse killer. We had a grouse fly through camp last night. Here's the burnt orange KLR. Mr. Crego. Here's the 990. Fishing poles. Don't suck, does it? Yeah. A new tire. I like it. I like it. I think I may like this HT, this Desert HT quite well for Moto Z. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> this is nice. Here, you want to have a pull? It feels so good to what? You can all have a pull. It just flops right back and sticks right back in there if I don't clean that up. It really is. If you were to pull the outer shell out, it'd be just like those cheap balls you buy and shoot out of a gun. It's got the Velcro on the outside edge. I don't know what to think, Nick. <laughs> I'm not naked. Oh, that's good. What, your sack never been sucked? This sucks. This is terrible. It's the worst day of our lives right now. We could be at work, arguing with our wives, doing laundry. Watching our wives clean up the kitchen, watching our wives make dinner. Here we are doing it all ourselves. Bullshit! How do I get out of this thing with get, without getting bucked off? How do I get out of this thing without getting bucked off? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I might have to get me a little under quilt. I was comfortable, but I did wake up a couple times in the night with my back just a little cool. And I'd shift and move and bundle up a little bit, and then I was fine to go right back to sleep again. Did your back get cold at all? That's that under quilt, I bet. You got a little warm? Oh. I've had to pee for like two hours and I'm like, I'm not getting out of this little cocoon of happiness. <laughs> ah, good morning, people. It's time to get up. Yeah, is that one of those jet boil things, homie? Yeah. I don't know what brand it is. It, it's a nice one we got at uh, GSI. That thing full of water? Not completely full. Oh. I don't ever use it. See how it goes. Oh, be. Little teeny tiny. I can't even see this one in the woods. Show me your magic touch. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Not <about the> stove. <laughs> what do you have for breakfast, Holmes? Um, I got a bag of breakfast. Eggs. Like an eggs <laughs> bag of breakfast. You got a bag of breakfast? I got a bag of breakfast. That's off the house. Oh, crazy. sick. <laughs> I got gravy and pork patty crumbles. I've got a bag of breakfast. Brown sugar, maple, gluten free, cassaned eretba, hot oatmeal, like four different languages. 
but it is hard to prove. I bet that's delicious. Must be delicious. Oh, I think looks like it's good. Like some retard who put it on there didn't put it in the middle. You feeling your handles? No. But it looked like it was going to fall off. That would be a bummer. Because I'm on water rations. Me too, I got Because I don't want to walk to the river to filter water. I want to filter enough before we start again. Yeah, that's where we're going to go somewhere quick. And I think we're going to head to gas from. Well, you got one of those big old water bowls too, huh? Well, this is Craig's other set up here. Oh! Yeah, do we have a boil going now? <laughs> All right, we're boiling. Shit, yeah. Did I measure my water? No. Do I need to? No. Probably. I use the Tlar approach. That's a Elon. very, very nice little thing, yeah. So we use that in flying a lot. Just in the like that. Just smell the way it's made for. Yeah, and I'm guessing this goes. Yeah, that goes. Let me see it. I'm not sure if it goes over or under. Let me Probably. see the whole thing. Yep, yeah, a little. You do? So. Too much water. <laughs> this is where you put alcohol in there. So it's two different kinds of. So okay. this, this is the alcohol we don't, burner. We don't so you don't need that. that. Okay. This goes like this. And then you put the little puck right here and you light the puck. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I think, did. That's what I've been peeing. <laughs> that's some <laughs> caustic <of> shit. <laughs> what do you eat? What do you drink? Asparagus. <laughs> I don't yeah. eat asparagus. For sure. It's delicious. What's your bag up? Your bag? Take That's like this. me in the morning. My prostate's so massive now. <laughs> Tip just like me. <laughs> How many ounces? Oh, it's one and three Damn quarter it. cups. Huh? How many ounces is one and three quarter cups? Twelve ounces is a cup, right?
down fat, hard or fast, it just, just the, under the bike. Yeah. Yeah, you're trying to. This right here is your foot. That's where I got the truck. So your foot's dragging from right here. You were trying to keep your foot out to somehow save the bike from falling, and that never works. <laughs> that's unfortunate. That's human reaction, though. Yeah. That's like when you fall off. Your instinct just instinct is to put your hands down. I go slow, man. I was going five miles an hour around this corner. Well, it should. It, it's my fault. I should have had more space behind you. You slowed up, so I had to slow up. I just should have kept more space. Were you right behind me? Well, when you slowed down, I wasn't right behind you, but when you slowed down, I had to hurry up and slow down. Yeah, these bikes can't corner, man. Not with, not with my tires. Uh, so, I, don't, I don't know why it is when you're slowing down on a bike, but it must be the centrifugal force of it or something. You just can't turn as well. I drag her. I drag my rear brake a little bit. Try to get vertical in the turn. Yeah. I'll just I'll just leave more space. Well, can you? I mean, how are you? How is your ankle? It's it's going to be sore, like I said, but I think I'm going to be okay. I'm just kind of waiting to stand up here another. 30 to 60 seconds. Oh, not like that? No, I'll sit on your butt. I'm going to be, I can put weight on it. I'm going to be able to. Yeah, you're putting your foot back like that and put weight on it. Yeah, I'll be able to do it. I might have to stick it in the stream or something for a little while. Well, luckily if it goes this way, that the ligaments on the inside of the ankle are really beefy, thick, heavy ligaments. So if it doesn't break, then it's gonna be fine. <laughs> well, it would've broken by now, right? Yeah, it would've happened when it happened, yeah. I just, I couldn't get myself squared up the way my foot was twisted under it. And I was finally able to turn. Somebody was helping lift it off, probably. It was Tyler. Okay. Yeah, it hurt like a son of a bitch. Yeah, it's because your body was this way and then your foot was like underneath it twisted. Nice. Did your knee hurt at all? No. It, it did initially, but I don't feel anything, at all, any pain at all in the knee. So you have legs like an ox. If it breaks, it's going to hurt, though. <laughs> Your femur is probably massive. You want me to try and stand up on it this way? Yeah, if you can put a little weight there, can you? Yeah, I can. I'm just back down. Thank you.
Looks like a perfect spot to me, home sly. Yep. You guys, I think we may have a cluster cuddle going on here. There's the dirty Italianos bedding for the night. We got the dirty Sanchez over there setting up his Hello, bedding for the night. Would this classify as a legitimate cluster cuddle? I, well, I mean, they aren't tight enough for anything serious to happen. You know, anything we'd have to talk to our wives about. But it is close enough that if he got cold, we would be able to nestle and survive the night. Well, that's what we're supposed to do, right? I think so. And if he's naked, oops, you know, that's, that's his choice. I, I can't vouch for what happens after that. What happens in the woods stays in the woods? He's a handsome man. He'll probably try to seduce me. And I'll try to be strong. But I don't, I don't know. It's, it's lonely out here in the woods. You never know what might happen. The cluster cuddle it is. <laughs> cool. This doesn't suck, folks. Let's see if we can find Rojo. How many guesses do you think it'll take for me to figure out how many paces I must walk to find the lonesome crow. There's Mr. Duff Factor's cluster cuddle right over there. All set up, ready to go night at night. Hopefully. Let's see if we can find a row hole neck. We're gonna have to take a little trip over here. There have been some animals bedding down in this area. I'm hoping that they are just a simple bovine something or other. But there have been animals. Maybe black bear, maybe brown bear, certainly maybe grizzly bear. We cannot see you because of the camouflage pants. You guys see the rojo? He's over again. Job to the. <laughs> wow, this is quite the little home right here. He's got to get back into the depths of the wood, the piney forest, the quakey forest. We got mostly quakies here, our pines, but not right where we're at. He's got his rain fly up, ready to go. And he's just chilling like a villain. Ready to pass out yet, homie? It's not, not quite as cold here as our last one. Our last spot was quite cool, which is nice. It's a little warm here, actually. The Dirty Sanchez thinks he might be sleeping in his uh, birthday suit tonight. Oh, that's great. <laughs> well, you guys are in for a treat then.
<laughs> there's, there's my homie spot right there. There's the other two guys over there. Right in the middle of all these quakies. This is a terrible, terrible place to be. This place sucks. Doesn't suck as bad as last night, but it still sucks. Yeah, last night was terrible. Gosh, it was probably 65 degrees, maybe. Nice and cool. Had a place all to ourselves. Terrible, terrible thing. I don't think they have counselors good enough to uh, take care of problems like this, Mr. Rojo. You just have to off yourself. Yep, you just have to off yourself. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed the grand tour. Come back out here. We got the dirty Italiano who wants a fire bad enough that he's down picking up branches and wood from everywhere he can. While the dirty Sanchez is working on uh, testing out oh, yeah. his new bedding. Is it a go? Hi, folks. <laughs> He's found his way. He's found his way to happiness. I have found the place where I shall rest for the night. I remind you, should this turn into a complete survival situation, go ahead and take me. I am the fattest, the obviously the most delicious one here. I will make the sacrifice for the rest of y'all. <laughs> Plus, I have great. Because he can't insurance. run right now. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I, you're all gonna outrun the bear better than me. I went down on the bike, I'm partially crippled, I'm gonna survive, but the bear will get me first. <laughs> if you guys can't get out of there and you gotta choose who to eat. Eat the dirty care. Sanchez first, he's the most juiciest. I am. His wife even said so. Yes. He and is our, the juiciest. I've got great life insurance and she might be better off without me anyways, it's really a coin toss. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do, okay guys? <laughs> All right. You have a lovely night. <laughs> And as all good things must eventually come to an end. Bullshit. Bullshit. How about we go to Mexico next? Mexico! Yeah, I might just need a little gas, but I'm game. Let's go down to Puerto Penasco and hang out on the beach for a while. That's too hot. Too hot? Let's head to Alaska. Alaska, okay. Let's do Alaska. Let's go to Alaska. There goes Craig off for a morning constitutional. This is a beautiful spot, folks. This is really nice. We had our hammocks hung up. Absolutely beautiful. We got a little bit of sun ray coming in. We've got a little cloud cover. It's actually quite comfortable. We're about, uh, what we say, 8,000 feet? Just a little bit above. A little bit above 8,000 feet. And we've learned that in the heat of the summer down there, probably in their 90s or so, we got to be about 8,000 feet or up in order to find cooler weather. But it was it was nice, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Even the dirty Sanchez slept good last night. Oh, Rojo's packed up like a pack mule on his big old girl. Yeah, it's been great. For record's sake, we just want everybody to know that this man is coming out of the woods like a bear, having expelled his morning constitutional. And he's no longer holding it. Second time ever. so fast, how do you make sure you get it all out? It's just a, a dainty little one. Hey, that morning coffee just really gets that baby rolling for you, doesn't it? Right out, right out. That's this one I over like. here, he disappeared last night. It came time to take his morning deuce. He just like was gone. We're like, dude, freaking someone, he, he got eaten up or something. 20 minutes. Bowel evacuation. That must have been quite the evacuation. It was, it was nice, you know, slow quaint, quiet little setting. Just got comfortable. Sprayed a little bug spray on my ass. Made sure I didn't get mosquito bites. Let the wind blow through the aspen trees. Jeez, that's that almost makes me feel like I want to go do that right now. 
I would say it was almost as good as my honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> almost. It was close. <laughs> Real close. Well, that must have been really good. That, I was starting to think I need to go do that right now. That well, was just feeling, I was starting to feel it like coming on a little bit, you know. Like, my my like, honeymoon was good, but I got sick on my honeymoon. Oh. So. Yeah. You too, huh? So, yeah. Did you get sick on yours? I had a horrible cold, yeah. Sore throat. That's too bad. We got over it. Were, were you even at yours? <laughs> I would have rather been fishing. <laughs> Can you go fishing? <laughs> Damn spiders! Check this out, guys. We're just this front tire's been gnar gnar, but look, look what I just found. Freaking major tear in the sidewall. I have to go. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Nice and slow. I have to go nice and slow. Well, no, I think. I mean, I've been riding. Who knows how long that's been there? I just don't want to go hauling high speed on the freeway with it like that, you know? Up. What's that? No. It's like you're just going to have to ride a wheelie. I'll have to ride a wheelie the whole way home. Shit, I can't ride a wheelie on my dirt bike. Well, let's take it by that tire. Yep. That good old Pirelli, she's, she's done. I wonder how long it's been like that. Miles you got on your bike. Today? You put this on pretty soon after you got it, didn't you? No, this is my third front tire. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> this is my third front tire. My first one was what you got. I love that tire. The Trackmaster? The Trackmaster. I love it. It grips good. It doesn't last very long, but it grips like a mother. That's why I like it. It's good. Uh, let me see if Tom... I'm going to call Tom and see if he's working today. If not, we could go the back way home. But what happens if I blow a tire? I have no tire. I have a tire at home. You have a tire at home? I do have a used tire at home. I've got a KLR original at home for you. I don't want that, <laughs> homie. No offense. None taken. They're gonna get me home, but or I could go see if Tommy's working today. See if Tommy could hook me up with something. Yeah. Um, Just to get me home. Yep. The What's the step? shortest route? Probably back down through Highway 6, huh? No. Well, go down here, then get on Diamond Fork, and you can either go back to Highway 6 pavement, or you can turn right and go Hobble Creek down to Springville. I'm worried about Hobble Creek now, with all them rocks. You want to go to Duff? You want to go to Duff? Why don't we just go down? Call him first. We could just go to Heber, go down Provo Canyon, up over American Fork, and then into Lehigh. That'd be the quickest way to... Heber uh, Canyon? Well, we don't have to take the canyon, but then we just we could just go drop into Provo and drive from State Street out that way, I guess. What do you think? That'd be fastest. I don't know if Heber's the fastest way. I don't know, because you got to go all the way down and... A lot farther north, and then I don't know. I don't know which one's faster. This one, you just drop right down the mountain, and and we're where? Depends if you go into Springville or if you go back into. We can actually go into Springville. Yeah. Or if you go into Highway Six. It's probably faster to go down to Springville. Is that what you're talking, Hobble Creek? Yeah. It's just a dirt road, like what we've been up here. It's main okay. Dirt, it's main well, let's road. just do that. Can we do that? Yeah, it's easy riding. Okay. What am I thinking? Which one am I thinking that had all the rocky stuff on it? Squaw Peak. Squaw Peak. But we're not going Squaw Peak. Yeah. Okay. Not with this. You'll you'll blow on that. Yeah. That's nasty boulder shit. Yeah. Okay. Crap. Sorry, kids. All right. We got a plan. Sounds good to me. Dang, I'm glad I saw that. I would not want to eat cheese with this probably 800 pounds of gear and bike. And it felt weird for a long time, so I think she's done. Oh, wow. Ooh, the music. That's some spectacular. I'm paying attention to where I'm 